Okay, hi guys. Uh, what we're going to go through right now is a, a little more complicated example of uh, of creating some uh, some methods. We're also going to take a look at the class in general. So this one may take two videos. We'll see how we're doing for time as we move along. Anyway, um, we're going to start off with a new project. Now this time I'm not going to create an application straight up. I'm just going to create a uh, Actually, yeah, I am creating an application at the moment. Uh, so I'll create my application. I'm going to call my application pizza. Okay, now notice the one thing I did change here is I removed the create main class part. So that's going to go away for now. And I'm going to just finish there. Alright, now where I didn't do that, you'll notice that there's nothing in my um, my folder here. So I'm going to need to create a class called that. So I'm going to go to my default packages section and say I want a new class here. I'm going to call that class pizza. All right. Now for our class pizza, uh, we got a couple of little things that we. Uh, that we want to have in there. It's actually pretty straightforward. We want three items of data in our class. We want to have a string to say what the toppings are. We want to have an integer to say how what the diameter is. And we want to have um, a, a number, a floating point number or a double that, uh, that we're going to use for the price. So I'm just going to create those declarations here. Now, notice I'm doing this in the class definition and not in the function part. You'll see why a little bit later. So I'm going to say string and we'll call that toppings. We're going to have another one called an int that's going to be diameter. And we're going to have price which is going to be a double. Now, one of the things that you normally want to do when you're working with uh, Java and classes is you want to be able to hide these data and information. So let's look at data hiding sort of thing. So, generally speaking, these will all actually be listed as private, and I'll do that in a minute. We'll just kind of keep moving ahead as we go. Uh, because we're not going to be able to access these fields directly, we need to have a way to be able to set these values or see what's in these values. So we're going to use some get and set methods here. So we're going to create a method that's going to be public. It has to be public or no one's able to use it. Static get um, toppings. And we'll just do it like that for now. So Let's see. Oh, it is again. Public static string. Got to tell it what type it's going to be. Public static string get toppings and or you can return toppings. And let's see. Non static. Yeah. Okay. Gotta get rid of the. So it's just public string. That's right. So I need to do my instant stuff. Okay, and that's because this information is coming from the instance. Alright, so same thing for the next two. Public uh, int get diameter. So I'm just returning diameter. Get price. And we'll return price. So this part's pretty straightforward. As you can see, all you've done is you've just created uh, a couple of um, things, uh, a couple of functions that all they're going to do is they're going to pull this information. Okay, and that's because this is part of the class information. Now I'm also going to want to be able to set these values. So these are going to be void functions. And um, uh, 
and I'm going to say here that toppings equals top. So what this does is this is passing a variable through. This is allowing me to call a void function, and I pass what I want to set my toppings value to as a string here. So the topping the top becomes the toppings. I want to do something similar now for the other two. Um, so public void Yeah, I'm just going to call that size, um, and we're going to say diameter equals size, set price, Just set price to equal cost. Now, these values here could actually have the same exact name as these, but to keep things, um, to keep our scope stuff, since we haven't really gone over a lot of that yet in check, um, I'll just name them slightly differently so that we can actually see what's going on. Uh, if you did want to do something like that here, you could make that my toppings, then my toppings, my diameter, my diameter. My car, uh, my price, my price, that, that sort of deal. So at this point, um, what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to try to run that. It's not going to run because there's no main class finish. But that's okay. We can still, um, never mind. We can still compile it by right clicking on it and just going to compile. That'll tell us if we've got any errors or not. So as we look at it, we see we compiled okay and we didn't get any errors so all should be good so at this point we can't really tell what's going on until we create a test all right so to create our test what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our um, package here and say add new class and we're going to call this one test uh, pizza so that's going to be the test class that we're, uh, we're going to create and the very first thing we're going to do here is we're going to add a main function to this. Okay, and we're just going to go for a quick build here and see what happens. I'm going to do a clean build just to play it safe. Alright, so sometimes we get prompted here for a uh, to so that something gets set as being what has the main and the main class in the thing. So as you can see here, the main class contains you get this little mark on your um, on your file. So at this point here what I want to do is I want to actually create something called um, pizza and then I'm gonna set it and get some information from it, print some information out. So here what I'm gonna do is I want to say well I'm gonna use type pizza and I'm gonna have that be um, my pi is what I'll call it. That's going to equal new pizza. Then I'm going to set the values for that pizza. So I'm going to do that by going um, my pi dot, and you'll notice that right away when I hit dot, the values that I actually put there, my get diameter, get price, and get toppings, and my set diameter, set price, and set toppings, all land into my IDE here really nicely, so I'm able to actually work with them. So I'm just going to set the toppings for now. So set, set toppings. I don't think it's spelled my problem right. P -P. Uh, let's make a vegan pizza. Or cheese. You know, we'll just go with the cheese pizza for now. So we're going to set the toppings to be a cheese pizza. I'm going to set the, set the price to be $10. Can I get $10 or one? Set 
longer. To be uh, uh, twelve inch pizza. All right. So at this point, we've set all this information, but we still don't have any way of printing it out. So just to keep things really simple for right now, so we can see some examples of play. We do system dot out dot dot small dot print then um the is a So here we're going to say system out print out the pizza is a large and we're going to use the get function that we created from our pizza class over here and what that's going to return is that's just going to return the string of the toppings. Now notice we actually set these toppings up here first. So in our actual pizza class there's nothing set but over here we're actually kind of initializing this for us. So at this point we're going to hit play and hope it works. And sure it does, the pizza is a cheese pizza. And that's exactly how uh, you're able to start to do some of your get and set stuff. So let's say I decided, oh, well, I'm going to change that from being a cheese pizza to being a bacon pizza. Then I want to print out this line again. When I run it this time, you'll see that it'll say the pizza is a cheese pizza or the pizza is a bacon pizza. Now I'm able to do a couple of other things here as well. So I can also have more than one instance going at a time. And uh, when I do that, let's say here I did this as a my pie. Two and a my pie two. So let's just go ahead and I'll see what will happen. So the my pie on its own. Let's, I'm just gonna put a one here so that uh, I'll do the first. My first pizza is my second pizza is my first. Pizza is and my second pizza is. Now, when I go to run this, what you'll see is that my first pizza is cheese, my second pizza is null. Then this 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 print job here. Then I actually set the value of my second pizza, and then I say, well, my first pizza is cheese, my second pizza is bacon. And what that uh, just shows you how you're able to put information into and take it out of the uh, uh, using these gets and sets. So gets just pulls the information out, doesn't generally doesn't do anything other than that. Um, and uh, sets are usually used just to kind of save that value back into your uh, your class. So. Uh, that's probably your first example that we've done in Java for sure. That uh, that actually kind of covers some of the really basics of the of that kind of principle uh, of information hiding. Now, oddly, right at this moment, let's just try to print out something exact uh, directly. Dot uh, my pi. I don't want to error. I want to. My pie. There's again. Sorry, guys. Print. Um, so I want to take the uh, the price in this particular. No, I'm going to use the. I'll try to get the first one in. Um, uh, 
I'm just going to backslash in there to put in some room for us. That's just a carriage return, by the way. Actually, I don't need that, do I? No, never mind. I don't want to confuse things. So here I'm going to go pi, pi, dot. Now, you can see that I have toppings, diameter, and price here. I'm going to pick this one. So, toppings. Now, let's see what happens if I go wrong with this. You can see it says test cheese test. Now, the reason it does that is that right now I, ha I haven't set the value of these. Okay, so when I really want to work on these, I want to set these to be private. So, what will happen once I set that to be private, and I save, and I come back to here, and I run. Oop. What's going on? Ah, I'm getting an error. The reason I'm getting an error is because this is a private value now, so it's not letting me access it. See, it says toppings have private associated with it. Now, everything else will work, so if I comment that out really quickly, and I run it, you'll see that um, everything else works, and I'm still able to set my values, and even though that's private, and that's because I've created these, uh, these get and set values, okay? Um, Generally speaking, when you do your data, you almost always want your data to be private. And the reason you want it to be private is that you uh, you don't want people accessing this data from any other parts of your program unless you control this stuff first. Anyway, I'm going to stop now because it's starting to get a little long-winded, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye for now.